Hi everyone, Thomas here, and welcome back to part 20, no, not 20, 42, I don't know how I got them mixed up, of my Collins family let's play here on The Sims 4, not even a minute in, and my absolute mess today. So, um, before, I actually recorded this episode before, and um, for some reason my audio didn't record, um, I have a possible reason why, but anyway, we're back here and re-recording this episode, and as you can see, we are in a different setting, um, Casper and Avery have actually moved out from Anya's house, uh, Anya, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how I said that, uh, they've actually moved out, which is great, you know, to start their own life together. Um, and yeah, so they've actually been having a little bit of problem with their relationships, as you might have seen from the last episode where, you know, Casper tried to move things along, but I think Avery found it a bit too quick. But it was, I think, Anya's suspicions were maybe a little bit right, in that Avery's just in it for the money and the fame, because if you don't know, Avery really wants to become a, like, kind of like a world-renowned DJ sort of thing, she's really into DJing and things like that, so, you know, maybe it's just in for that, and you know, Casper, after that happened, you started getting a little bit of a couple of problems and concerns about that, Anya's um, concerns were maybe true, so, I don't know, but they are moved in together, which is great, and um, the kind of... I don't know what to think about this house. It was really the only thing they could afford. Um, well, I know they have a little bit more money now, but, you know, it is still a bit of a struggle for everyone. Um, but it is nice for them to move out and it, not as many people for Anya to look after. <laughs> so... This house is all decorated and everything. They're just sitting here watching uh, TV. But I think they want, like, a, a house party or something tonight because, um, you know, they just want to have a housewarming party. <laughs> so, uh, what should we do now? It's, like, 3 p.m. I guess it might be a little bit too early for that. But, I mean, you know what? I don't know. Let's do it now. We're just going to do a house party. I'm going to get him to actually do it because I think he knows a couple more people. Uh, let's do a plan a social event. And we'll just do it as a house party. Uh, we don't really have a lot of seats, so we can't really do a, um, a what do you call it, a dinner party. So, um, the host is going to be him and Avery. And the guests, well, we could do um, everybody that dwells in the other household. Um, oh my god, look what's happened to Eva. <laughs> um, let's, so, we've got Richard, um, we've got Anya and Katie. Where's Anya? There's Katie. Uh, and then let's do some other of the Colin family people, I guess you could say. So, oh my god. Who's this? Who is this? Is this Anya's ma'am? I think it is. Um, oh well, I didn't really actually look like that. So, we've got Casey and Colleen. Frank, Dylan, Justin, uh, Natasha and Jake, which is the, his grandparents. We've got Ethan and Lily, who are Richard's uh, sisters. And, well, sister, but oh my god, I just smacked my phone again. Uh, Richard, no, oh my god, Richard's brother and sister, there we go, finally. Uh, we've got Marshall, uh, Marcus, Nathan. I don't want to invite over too many people. Uh, let's see if there's any other people who I really want to invite. Um, I think that'll do. How many people is that? That's 14. Uh, maybe a little bit too much, but you know. Um, mixologist and caterer. I guess we'll just do caterer. Um, I might take off a couple of people off this list. Um, let's see. Let's take Frank off and um, maybe Nathan. Is anyone else? I don't know. Okay, so that's 12 people coming to the house party. We've got, uh, well, like 14 in total, plus the caterer. So it's going to be like 15 people here. Um, and we're going to have it at that residence, which is great. Um, did I select it as a prestige event? Oh my god, I didn't mean to. Oh no. Well, you know what, that's okay. Maybe we'll get something nice to have it um, as a present or something, I guess. So I should actually maybe add some, a couple of more seats in here because we don't really have a whole lot, do we? We do have a little bit of leftover money. I mean, not a whole lot, though, so I'm not going to go overkill. Um, I'm just going to add maybe a couple more ta uh, chairs into that table. Um, if that sentence made sense, I don't know. Um, maybe an extra chair here. And that should be enough. Um, I might just move this table slightly because it seems to be a little bit cramped over here. Um, I might just do it like that and then push about there, I think. I don't know. It's a very weird space, I guess. So, I think that'll do. So, there we go. Um, what are oh, people arriving already? I think this is Marshall, I believe. Um, oh, my God. Who is this? Oh, my God. Please don't say this is Anya and one of her stupid no CC. Oh, my God. That's Anya. Oh, Anya, what on earth are you doing? Okay, don't say she's going straight for the food, is she? No, she's getting more. Why would you go straight? Oh, my God. I don't even know. I'm going to have to change her outfit into her every day because that's the only one. Um, all the other ones are like random CC or ones I've had CC and I've deleted it and it's just blank outfits now. <laughs> if, if blank outfits is a proper word, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to set my timer. Oh, no. got to do that quickly. <laughs> quick, quick. What? <laughs> I can't speak. Here we go again. If you're new to my channel, then... Oh, I've got my speaker on. 
If you're new to my channel, then you know that I can't really <laughs> string a sentence together. <laughs> um, I just mess up in literally everything I say. So I've got a time on there for 15 minutes. That should be enough. Um, so everybody's just going to sit. Oh my god, I should have locked this room. Oh no. Wait, is this got a door on it? Because I don't think it does. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. I just saw Jake walking down the street. Hang on, I need to check this. Oh, it does have a door on it. One. What? Um, Jake, I think you need to put a t-shirt on. <laughs> Oh god, okay, um, okay, <laughs> so I should have locked this door, I'm gonna wait until he comes out and then I'm gonna lock it because I don't want anybody coming here, no, no, no. oh, <laughs> I thought he was gonna go in there, um, so I'm just gonna lock the door for everyone, I don't even know what that sound was, um, but the caterer is here which is great, so I'm getting a little bit of lag and Casper is doing some poses, um, not very good. Oh my god, everything's a mess already. Who's this person? I don't know who that is. Jane Craven? Well, I know Zach Craven, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, I think Casper's maybe a little bit embarrassed to bring everyone here, because it isn't really good. Oh my god! Oh, put some clothes on, please! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh god, um, I need to change everybody's outfits. Um, oh my god. I need to like fix this CC thing. There is actually a way to do it, but it's kind of complex, I believe. So I might do a video on it as like a tutorial. I think that might be useful. Um, so who is this? Oh, that's Lily. I was like, I don't recognise that person. Um, <laughs> so this party is a mess already. Um, everybody's just watching TV and I don't know what on earth you're watching. Um, everybody's just doing random stuff. So I need, let's actually get some stuff done of the to-do list that we we'll have. So the main goal is to, you know, talk to people. So I'm going to Avery to come and say hello to a couple of people. Um, socialise with them people. Um, them people, does that make sense? I don't know. Uh, wow, she barely knows anyone here. So let's introduce ourselves to a couple of people as well. Um, oh, can't do that. Uh, friendly introduction. And let's get him to do some as well. He kind of knows most of the people here. Um, let's see, joke about politicians, just a couple of social interactions. Uh, we've got 7 out of 12 done so far. Let's go ahead and say hello to Casey. Uh, I think that's his name, yes. <laughs> i kind of forgotten his name. Um, let's go and say hello to his sister. I think his sister, you know, she's feeling a little bit gloomy at the minute because, you know, I've already said about how she is a little bit, uh, I don't know, like... Feel a little, ba a little oh my god, a little bit abandoned about you know everybody. Well, because you know Casper's moving on, she doesn't really have a lot of friends, and Casper is really her only friend. And now you know she he got a girlfriend and everything, and then you know was abandoned in that way by you know not talking to each other as much, and then. He's moved out now, which is even worse, so she's probably even more lonely. So it's nice for her to be here so he can just see how she's getting on and, you know, just remind her that, you know, Cass was here for her. Um, okay, so let's go and say hello to Richard as well. Um, hang on, let's see. Can we just gossip or something? And then let's go and say hello to Anya as well. Um, why they shake? Did they just shake hands? Oh, that was, oh my god, I totally forgot. <laughs> Sorry if I scared you there. Um, the other day I was like, just playing my cone household and. They, like, I saw some people on the street and they were shaking hands as, like, doing an introduction. I was like, what? I've never seen that done before. I don't know if that was, like, a pose or something, but I've never seen it done before. I don't know. Let me know if you've seen that done before. <laughs> anyway, so I've got to eat a cake as well. Has somebody made the cake? Yes, and they've already started eating it. Okay. Um, so let's get him to take a piece of that and her to take a piece. And that should be, well, two out of four done. Um, then we've got a dance. Do we actually have a stereo here? I don't think we do, so we're going to have to add one of those in somewhere. Uh, okay, so I'm getting the stereo. I hope I can fit on this table. If it can, that would be perfect. Yes, I can, which is great. Um, I need them to go and dance together as well. Where am I going to put this plant now? Um, I guess I'll just... You know, it doesn't fit on that table. It doesn't fit on this table. Uh, there's no other tables. <laughs> um, I guess I could go in the middle. Nope, okay. doesn't even fit on the benches. Oh my god, what an awkward plant this is. Um... <laughs> Oh my god, where can I put it? I guess I'll just put it down here for now. Oh no, that might get in the way. Oh god, there's nowhere to put it. Can we just put it outside then? Okay, that'll do. Um, okay. <laughs> now let's get them to go and dance together. So how many people have got to dance at the same time? Just have Sims dance at the same time. So I guess what we could do is maybe just form a group with a couple of people. Uh, oh, she needs to use the toilet, so I'll get her to go and do that afterwards. Um, I'm going to get Casper here to come and form... Really, the gym poses. I don't have time for that. <laughs> oh my god, I should like remind myself if there's some way to like have an automatic reminder before I go and record to remove poses because it's the most annoying thing ever when I go to do an episode and I have poses in. Oh god. So let's have um, them form a group a little bit. Um, just how many three people should do. So just get them to do these people here. 
and let's go and get them to dance together if we can. Uh, turn on, uh, pop, and then let's go and have them dance, uh, dance together. And there's three of them doing that, so I wonder if that actually works as, you know, um, the three, or do I have to, like, do three separate times? I don't know. <laughs> so let's get them to do this. Yes, okay, good, so they can stop dancing now. Everybody's dancing, actually, which is great. So, uh, what we've got to do, flirt. Okay, so we can only flirt with Avery, really, so I guess we're going to have to do it five times. She needs to go to the toilet quickly, so let's get it to go and do that. Um, the kid was making a lot of food actually, which is great. I'm actually going to put some of this away if I can, because we can use it as meals for next week, because they don't have a lot of money. Um, we can't even put the plates away. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know why we can't do that. Um, hmm. Oh well. So, <laughs> let's get them to, uh, well, who go to the toilet if we can. Is she going to do that? Stop eating, please. Um, he needs to go and maybe call Eddie Royer to a meal for the last... How many slices of cake have we got left? Two. Oh, no. So we're not going to be able to actually eat all this cake because there's only two slices left and we need three more things to get the goal done. Then we've got them to become playful. I don't know how you become playful. Um... I don't know how you do that, actually. I guess just telling jokes, yeah, that's probably the easiest way. Uh, so I've got to have Sims become playful at the same time. So I guess he's going to have to joke with a couple of different people. So let's get him to call everybody to a meal. I guess one more. Oh. <laughs> everybody comes in here to get the one slice of cake. Everybody just ran in to get the, lice, <laughs> the last slice. Okay, well, I guess other people's taken the other food, which is great. I guess that, maybe that counts as the other extra slice. I don't even know. Um, I laughed really hard there. I've kind of made myself go to see. <laughs> anyway, so let's get them to come and eat this piece of cake. I guess they'll all take, like, a crumb each. Um, is she still making food? Wow, she's just keep going on and on and on. We're going to have so much food. Um, we're not going to be able to eat it in time, I don't think. So, let's get her. Now she's finished with the toilet to come over here and... Um, I don't know, just do a couple of interactions with people. Not add to a group, I mean do funny interactions. Uh, let's do an impression and... I don't know. Is there any more we could do? There's not really a whole lot here. Tell a funny story. Um, let's do it to this person as well. Uh, oh, we don't even know. Let's do a funny introduction and maybe that counts. Uh, do you know this person? Yes, good. So they, let's do some with that. Tell jokes about aliens. Um, I don't know, just a couple for it. Oh. <laughs> Party's over. So that was that, okay. So we got a bronze award. We got a gently used book in our Sims household inventory. I mean, I guess it's something. Oh my god, look at the mess of the house. Ah! Oh my god, it's an absolute tip. There's plates absolutely everywhere. Okay, what, what on earth is Richard doing? Get it, Richard, get it. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if that was part of a pose, but I've never seen those dance moves before. Especially from Richard. Oh well. <laughs> okay, so let's um, end the party here. I want everybody to go home. Um, we can stop doing those funny interactions because everybody's gone now. I'm going to get Casper to come over here and clean everything up. Um, well, actually, oh my god. That's poor quality of bulk. She wasn't a good caterer. Um, can we put these away or do I have to... Well, I don't know why they won't go into the fridge. I guess I'll get him to put these away. Put away... Put away, and put away. Oh, this doesn't look good quality. Oh, it's excellent. <laughs> it looked like it was dirty. <laughs> dirty tacos, but they're actually good quality. Okay. Uh, well, excellent quality, actually. So, let's get her to come over here and clean up. She hasn't really been doing much. Um, You know, Avery was a little bit scared this morning when... Wow, is Richard still going? Oh, my God. Let's turn the stereo off. Hopefully, that'll make him stop. Um, Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, like I was saying... I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted now for, like... Of nothing. Um, wait, where is he going? What, what is he doing? Wait, what is he doing? Like, what? Um, well, I don't know what he's just been doing there. I told him to put everything away and he's just walked around with it all. Okay, um, oh my god, Frank, get out. Yep, <laughs> you tell him, Gasper. Well, he's, okay, so Frank's just. Well, that, this isn't even Frank, <laughs> it's Marshall. Um, okay, so let's get him to go to the toilet and I need her to come over here and clean everything up. Um, I need them to get jobs as well. <laughs> totally forgot about. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> she's <laughs> oh my god, she's like cleaning away the perfectly good food. Oh no. Oh well. Oh, damn, damn. They don't have any money to start off with. Uh, uh, can't speak again. Oh my god. They don't really have that much money to start off with, and she's just like cleaning away perfectly good food. Oh well. So what I'm gonna get them to do is um, there isn't really a whole lot. <laughs> 
you know what I'm going to do is just pause the recording here. I don't know how long we've got left. Let's just check. We've got like five minutes left. And in the morning, we're going to see what else is left for them to do. Okay, so it's early morning now. And if we actually had to sleep in a separate room than Casper, because their romantic um, relationship isn't high enough yet to sleep in the same bed. So she's sleeping in the kids' room. So what I'm going to actually get to do, because, you know, Casper feels a little bit, I don't know, bad for Avery, because it was just like so many people of his family there last night and you know Avery kind of felt a little bit out of place so what he's going to do is get up early before her and as a sec before everyone but there's only one other person and get him to uh, serve some breakfast I mean his cooking skill isn't very good because he had Anya and Richard who are really good cooks to do everything for him so he's struggling a little bit with you know living on his own now with doing things that he should be doing all the time um so he's kind of failing fa oh my god i can't speak failing at making um this what is he even making scrambled eggs or something failing to make that but you know he's gonna have to improve somehow so um, i'm gonna get into that hopefully avery isn't gonna wake up and you know see the uh me uh, oh my god i'm oh my god i'm like literally messing up on every single word um i don't i want him to make it before she wakes up so um he's gonna have to get a job as well because they barely got any money um so let's see how he please don't see he's gonna set a fire oh my god i will probably scream if you know he actually does um okay let's take a look at the screenshots here oh my god I always do that where I take a screenshot before click and tab and then, you know, it just goes all to pot. So he looks like he's actually doing an okay job on this. Uh, we do have actually a little bit of space left on this lot. So we could actually put a um, swimming pool here at some point. That actually might fit nicely here. What, what doesn't fit nicely is the snow modern Oasis Springs. As you can see, kind of like... It's like all deserty and everything, and then oh, there's a bit of snow just in the middle of the desert. I mean, it's I really appreciate Sim Cookie for doing that, but you know, maybe something to improve on next time. Anyway, I shouldn't even like be criticizing it because me yeah. trying to make a mod. Pff, uh, let's not even think about that. So I'm gonna get him to come over here and um. Oh my god, is that poor quality? <laughs> oh my god, let's get him to call them to a meal anyway and see how she likes it. Eating some like disgusting eggs and bacon. And uh, I don't get how it can be poor quality. Like, well, actually, I do get it because the eggs could be bad. Um, so the lighting is actually looking really nice in this house. Now, as you can see, he's got a very, very worried face on him looking at Avery eat this. And as you can she see, she's not very happy, but you just wanted to impress her a little bit. And as you can see, she's like, what on earth is this? And that kind of makes Casper a little bit sad because he just wants to try really hard. And Avery's been really, really hard on Casper, actually, and just not giving in to him. And, you know, he, try he just tries really, really hard. And I feel like he needs... You know just somebody to care for him as well but i'm sure that'll come at some point it's just take it's just a hard cookie to crack avery is so i'm gonna get him to come over here and clean everything up and um i'm gonna actually get them to get some jobs because they really need it they've barely got any money to afford this house they're gonna be getting their bills um at the end of well at the start of next week i mean still got a, a bit of time left but you know um it isn't a whole lot of time what i'm actually gonna get them to do is put on auto lights that'll cut down the bills a little bit and I'm going to get him to find a job. Um, I, I don't know what I'm going to actually get him to do. I, I'm, not, I'm not... Oh, a rebate check of 54. Wait, what? Hang on. I'll read that in a second. <laughs> I don't know what that says. So what should we get him to join? Um, huh, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the criminal career. I don't know why. I just see him as being... Oh, God, there's my timer. My very loud timer on my iPhone 7. Um, I just got an iPhone 7 the other day. If you don't know, I sort of should have mentioned this at the start. I'm pre-recording this on the 26th of December. So I don't know when this is going up. Probably before New Year's. But, you know, just to let you know I'm pre-recording. Um, I've got an iPhone 7. And, like, it's just everything's a little bit different. And it's just a bit odd. Everything seems, like, louder. I don't know. You're probably not really interested. Anyway, so I'm going to get him to join the criminal career. Because I don't know why. I just see him as being, like, he was a little bit mischievous. Um, when he was, you know, younger, I think that might sink. <laughs> oh my god, I think that might fit him nicely, actually. So he only gets one day off a week, which I mean, it's really bad. But I mean, I could see him going far in this career. So I'm gonna get him to join that. Um, so he has worked in eleven hours. Um, so his daily tasks are gonna be a pain because I've got to do mysterious interactions. Um, could have done something a little bit easier, but I don't know. Anyway, so let's have a look at this, which I didn't read before. Uh, re oh, I'm speeding through there. I didn't mean to. Um, a rebate check of fifty. 54 simoleons has been received. Thrifty Sims give your household a discount off certain building purchases. Hmm, I don't know what that's for. 
I don't know, let me know in the comment section if you've had that before, if you know what it is, because I certainly don't. So let's get Avery to join adop, adop, oh my god, I can't actually speak today, like normal. So I'm going to get her to find a job as well. And we're going to get her to maybe join the entertainment career because she wants to be a DJ. So I think that will fit her very well. Um, so she gets 23 now. She gets two days off a week. Um, they both get one day off the same, which is great. Um, so she can either be a musician or a comedian. I suppose I'll get her to be a musician because that's the closest to a DJ. 23 simoleons an hour, 9 till 5. I didn't check his hours. I know he gets 13 an hour. Let's check his hours. So he's 8 till 3. Oh, 8 p.m. to 3 a.m. Okay, I didn't expect that. Um, oh, Anya wants to go out tonight. She wants to go to the Ancient Ruins. Nope. <laughs> I don't think so. Um, so he gets 14 an hour and she gets 23. He works from 8 till 3 a.m. and she works from 9 till 5. Um, okay, so she actually has work tomorrow and he does as well. So, I'm actually going to end the episode here because I think we've done quite a lot in this episode. Um, the party was kind of a success and as you can see, Avery feels a little bit happy now to actually have a job and to be able to, you know, uh, support herself in the future. Um, she was a little bit, you know, weird about, weirded out, I guess you could say, about the party, about not you know, really knowing anyone there. But, you know, she feels like... She's been a little bit hard on Casper, and she's just starting to really appreciate everything that he's trying to do for her. So, that is it for this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun in this episode. If you have any further suggestions for this LP, please leave them in the comment section down below, or future videos, or even videos for the next year, because I really want to step up my game in terms of videos for the new year. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, please make sure you leave a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!